A different art is happening off the runway at this year's Fashion Steps Out event. Artist Mazlan Ahmad was commissioned by the event's organiser to hand-paint 500 seats that the audience will get comfy on while watching the fashion show on Orchard Road. So I created all these chairs. Uh, they gave me 500 chairs to finish in the duration of a month. The client told me to do uh, pop art. The 37-year-old is better known as a graffiti artist, having pioneered the scene in Singapore since the early 90s. Mazlan tells Jay-Z TV that art was something he got into from the music he listened to. I've always into, into bands when I was young, so I like to you know doodle uh, their band names and stuff. So from there I picked up graffiti art through Beat Street uh, and I was doing typography art ever since. Along with rapping, breakdancing and DJing, graffiti is one of the pillars of hip-hop culture. And not unlike rappers, graffiti artists give themselves or are given aliases. What is in a name? Okay, because uh, uh, most graffiti artists have many names. You're, you're known as Scope or Scope One or Scope right. Warner. So it's like, uh, so there's many names. Uh, um, so what is in a name? Why is the name so important? Uh, I'm pretty much influenced by this uh, New York graffiti guy called Cope 2. So I just put an S in front and then I changed the C to a K to have uh, a more Asiatic kind of uh, name spelled out kind of stuff um, and also to actually have uh, an alter ego like if you go do illegal stuff out there I'm not condoning everyone to do illegal stuff so uh, so you, you, you really don't want people to know who you really are but when you keep on doing it you know your name cup starts to uh, get noticed and people eventually know who you are still. <laughs> it's just a name, an alter ego. Mazlan told Razi TV he doesn't see himself giving up his art and he plans to hold exhibitions around the world. Up next, Mazlan gives you advice if you want to be a graffiti artist.